Okay, so now that we have the operating system installed here in Hyper-V, let's go ahead and um, log into it. And the, one of the first things we're going to need to do is install the the drivers and everything, so I can get to, get this thing on the network and we can get it to see the the network card. So let me get logged in. And what I want to do is come in here and attach uh, the Windows ISO that we use to install the Hyper-V drivers and everything. Uh, sorry about that. And hit OK. Now let's go ahead and mount that in and get this stuff installed. So, and let's go ahead and get in there. Stout, so we want to manage the rail. S363 here. That's what we want to get into. Uh, depending on your version, of course, pick the right one. Um, and once we're in here, we just want to do the install SH. So this will go ahead and install the um, all the drivers and everything that you're going to need so that we can get the networking set up and yeah, get this on the network, uh, essentially. Can't do anything without the network. Okay, so we can see that the lens integration services have been installed here and that we are going to need to reboot. So, again, this is due to the fact that we're using Hyper-V. If you're using VMware or some other one, you may not have to go through this process. Um, so let's go ahead and reboot. All right, so let's log in again here. Now that it's rebooted, uh, let's check and make sure that the um, Hyper-V components are running. And, and we can see that everything's set up okay here. So uh, what we want to do now is set up the, the networking piece. So if we check in here we'll see that um, there is no no uh, Ethernet zero that's already configured and running so let's go ahead and get the network piece going and the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to networking yes this up. I'm also going to add the host name in here. Uh, CLD, SDK, and GMT01. Right? Yeah. Okay, exit out of there. And then go ahead and set up the config file for the adapter Put it here and you can use whichever editor um, you like to just use a BI for now um, so let's go ahead and configure Ethernet 0 uh, I can type and this uh, 
Vale. I'm going to set a static IP address on this. to the resolve.conf you'll see I'm using mostly IP addresses here so I'm not even using this but uh, in production you're going to want to use uh, your DNS and I think we're good there um, okay let's let's bring it the adapter See what we get here. Okay, so we got came up. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can hit the gateway. All right, and service network restart just to make sure we don't get any errors. Already start the networking. 